Hello everyone, this is uh, Saluki Tech. Uh, today we're going to show you a uh, top level VA provided by Saluki, that is the 3602 series vector network analyzer. Uh, this theory can reach it up to 67 GHz and uh, with Saluki frequency extenders it can reach it up to 325 GHz. Uh, now we are showing you the 3602D, which, which reaches uh, 50 GHz, and we have another model, uh, 3602E, which is uh, 67. Okay, now we are looking at the front panel. Uh, you can see here the indicator uh, shows uh, orange, that means the power is connected but uh, the instrument is not power on. Uh, we should press this switch button to turn on this instrument. Now we turn it on, you can see the indicator show screen. So now we will introduce you uh, some information about the front panel. Uh, the most obvious components of the front panel is the large screen. This is a touch screen you can use it to do almost all operations. It's very sensitive and uh, feels good. Then there are four ports here, four test ports. For this uh, S3602D, it uh, reaches uh, 50 GHz, so the test port here is a 2.4 mm test port. And this is not a standard pack. Standard pack only have two test ports. Uh, this has a 400 option, which is a four port test. So we have four test ports here. Here are some sh shields. Uh, there are some loops to be protected under it. So uh, after screen and pause, let's introduce you some keys on the front panel. Uh, first, uh, on the left, uh, there are a column of keys here. There are preset, macro, record, and help. Preset will uh, reset this instrument to the default status, and the macro to use some macros, record and run to record, and the help. Uh, when you press help, uh, there will uh, pop up a uh, user menu. So you can use the touch screen to see what you want. You need to seek for some help. Help. Touch it to close it. Okay. So on the right side, uh, the keys are divided into several zooms. First is the entry zoom. There are numbers and uh, some units. You use it to uh, enter some parameters uh, like frequency, amplitude. Uh, this is the adjust zoom. Uh, there is a knob to do some micro adjustment. Uh, there is uh, arrow keys to do some selections or to change the parameter. So the setup zoom, uh, they use blue keys, means you will often use these keys to do the measurement. Uh, they are in frequency, power, measure, sweep, trigger, and scale. Let's press it. Frequency will set up the frequency range of your measurement. Of your measurement, see there is a, a soft panel activate. There are star, stop, sentence, span. So you will uh, do the frequency setup here. Then the power. It will uh, set the output power of each port. That's power level and power on and off, and the tunator are also configured here. Then measure. Uh, this button will show you what uh, what parameter do you want to measure. S11 or S21 or some other parameters. Then sweep. <coughs> sweep will sweep will set up the sweep the sweep time and the sweep points sweep time. All configurations of our sweep are do, doing here. And uh, the next one, the trigger, uh, whole single group in continuous, and it's quite obvious. And the scale, 
well, could adjust the display of the traces. So after the setup key zoom, we will show you the menu zoom. The menu zoom have nine keys. They are file, trace, channel, stimulus, response, collaboration, marker, and then marker, and then them. file key always used to do some file operations like save a file, recall a file, or print a file. Then trace key we are used to create a trace, delete a trace, and trace operations. Channel key is quite similar to the trace key to add a channel, to active a channel. Stimulus key, uh, this key will include uh, the functions uh, we have introduced you in the setup key zoom. It's a frequency power sweep trigger, just like the setup key zoom. <coughs> then the response. Response will also include some uh, functions in uh, functions in like measure, uh, scale, but it also uh, also covers some format you can use a log of map or phase or group delay format here. So return. Then display average and our IF bandwidth. Calibration. Uh, we all know that when you want to use a VNA you first need to collaborate it. So our collaboration options are done with this key. Marker key to active a marker to use some uh, marker functions such as uh, marker search, hit search. <coughs> this will um, do some operations about the results you get, such as uh, save a trace to the memory, do some uh, math about the current trace and the memory trace. So system key uh, is uh, all about the configuration of the system, like language, like record. So that is all for the menu key zoom. Uh, there are four USB interfaces here. You have connect the mouse or keyboard to it. To it, you can control the instrument with your keyboard. So that is almost uh, all for the front panel. We will see the rear panel. This is a side view of the instrument and uh, we can see now there are quite some metals for heat dispension. And if you can see there are three fans inside the instrument. Uh, there is a handle for your easy moving the instrument. Uh, but be sure when you want to move it, you, you should ask two or more, more person to help you. Uh, this is quite uh, expensive and heavy VNA, so uh, in order to avoid hurting yourself, uh, more person should uh, help you to move it. So this is the rear panel of uh, S3602D. Uh, we will introduce all these interfaces uh, to you. Uh, first, let's see the interface on the upper left corner. This is the reference in and the reference out interface. Then on the right up corner, there is power switch and uh, the power cord interface. And uh, let's go down. This is the hard disk. This is the LAN interface uh, for remote control or data transmission. Uh, this is a USB, these are four USB interfaces. This is a VGA, you can uh, connect to a display, a display ring, use this uh, interface. A GPIB are uh, also used for the remote control. <coughs> LO out and RF out interfaces are here. And uh, these interfaces, uh, you can see they are gold. Uh, this is external uh, IF inputs. On the right uh, down corner, uh, most of these interface interfaces are external about the triggers. Uh, the trigger function, external trigger, or trigger output, trigger input, uh, something like that. 
So this uh, interface is the test set interface, and uh, this one is the power in the input and uh, input and uh, this one is the uh, handler input and output. So this square is uh, all about uh, pause input and output. There are four foot on each corner of the rear panel. Uh, this four foot will protect all these uh, interfaces during transportation. Okay, that is almost all for the rear panel.